Well, it's taken almost half a century, but at 48, TV host and Bollywood star Tanya Zayeta is finally going to become a mum. And she's plunging headfirst into motherhood with twins. This is definitely the biggest challenge that I'm, I and we will ever face. It's, you know, having your fate taken out of your own hands. One of our most versatile television stars. We have got a whopper planned for you today. It has never, ever been attempted in Australia before. Is preparing for her biggest gig yet. Wow, wasn't that a shock? From the fearless face of Who Dares Wins in the 90s, we're 12 storeys high, the ledge is only this wide. Would you dare to walk from one end and back again in under a minute? To a role in the most watched show on the planet. Did you know I did Baywatch? Starts in Sydney, ends in the bush. We're in! Woo! Then the UK. This... Someone's got to give me a game they actually can't play. Bollywood. <laughs> and even a crack at reality TV back home. You're fired. Tanya Zayeta has done it all and reached some dizzy heights. And just climb and climb and climb and climb. Just one thing brought her back to earth with a thud, the search for love. Single, 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 single for years. Um, and just dating all of the wrong people, not having any success at all, and I'd pretty much given up. Until seven years ago, when at the age of 41, she went to a day spa and saw the tall, dark manager, Chris Rogers, walk by. And he said, oh, if there's anything we can do to help you while you're here, then let me know. And I kind and what of- what did you say? Well, I thought that was my in and I said, oh, well, if you like, you know, perhaps I'll just grab the phone number, a phone number, and then I can organize to come again. And <clears throat> he gave me the actual number of the hot springs. <laughs> I had to do a little bit of the work, I think, didn't I, at first? I had to, you, earn it. Yeah. you did make me earn it. <laughs> and what, what about you when you first saw Tanya, Chris? Did you, you immediately feel something there, sparks? Oh, absolutely. Obviously, I was quite attracted to her and was just, you know, going about my job and bumped into her a few times, got chatting, and yeah, the rest is history. At 48, happy and in love, Tanya has just one more wish in mind. I'd said, obviously, I'm a little bit older and family's on the cards for me. And he said, yeah, you know, that's understandable. And so we thought we'll see where things take us. After the break, Tanya takes us inside her journey from Bollywood to motherhood. I can't help but think of all the challenges you did in oh your God. career. And now you get the ultimate challenge, really. Totally agree. The challenges moving forward for me are going to be tremendous and that I will look back and go, oh, jumping out of a plane's nothing. <laughs> Walking a plank between two hot air balloons, ah, try having twins. Welcome back. TV personality Tanya Zayeta feels like the luckiest woman in the world. She's found the man of her dreams and she's pregnant with twins. Fit, healthy and happy, when Tanya Zayeta went to see a fertility doctor at the age of 45, she had no idea her chances of conceiving a child were very slim, about one in 1,000. I had total misconceptions about it. When her doctor told her, it came as a terrible blow. He said, look, I'm just telling you that it's not really going to work and I don't want to waste your time. The couple began to wonder if they'd ever be able to have the family they'd dreamed of. There is that grieving process. Um, it is very confronting. It's a little disheartening and disappointing too. You start to question your own life. Also scary, the initial being told it's, it's not going to happen naturally. It just, yeah, having to figure out where to go next or mm. if, it, if it is ever going to happen. I think many women think, oh, if Halle Berry can do it at 48, why can't I? Fertility specialist Dr. Devorah Lieberman says there are a lot of false expectations when it comes to conceiving later in life. When celebrities say, oh, it was about my clean living or my, my meditation practices or my spirituality, that women start to think, oh, if I do these things, if I pray hard enough, if I eat the right things, I'll be able to have a baby. That might be the case. They may have led a healthy lifestyle, but it's pretty much crap, the rest of it. And it's very misleading also, and I think it's a big mistruth. 
many of those celebrities have actually conceived with donor eggs. And Tanya and Chris did the same, heading to Greece where they were matched with an anonymous donor. Given my age also, they transferred two eggs for the highest possible success rate. And then the wait for a nervous Tanya and a confident Chris. We got the phone call about the pregnancy and when I said, um, guess what, we're pregnant. And he was excited and he went, of course. <laughs> I knew, I knew that would work, of course it worked. And then when I went in for the um, scan and we went in and the lady's like, oh look, there's the one little tiny heartbeat. Oh, how exciting. And there's a second heartbeat. This one's like, the baby's got two hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Being smart. <laughs> And so then we're both like, oh, really? So there's two, and she's like, congratulations, you are having twins. And there's that moment where before you're over the moon, you're kind of like, huh, in shock. At 22 weeks pregnant, Tanya and Chris are absolutely thrilled. Good work out for you. Right? <laughs> oh my goodness, did we really think this through? <laughs> It doesn't matter where the babies come from or how you get the babies or how you conceive them, but you know, you're bringing life into the world. It won't be long until you're pushing a pram up things. I know, <laughs> I know. And with a very energetic little Jack Russell dog as well, and then two little babies. I'm going to have my hands full, aren't I? <laughs> It'll be hectic just for about 20 years. Oh, thanks. <laughs> That's all? <laughs> One person who can tell Tanya all about it is Lynn Cooper, who defied the odds and had her fourth and fifth children using her own eggs at the ages of 47 and 51. Two little ones to look after and, yeah, she was going to be on her feet, on her toes. Having Mia and Harrison meant going back to the broken sleep, the constant demands and the absolute fatigue. When you're totally exhausted and you just can't think you can't go no more and you always think to yourself, oh my God, I can't do this no more. Um, you, I look at them and I just think how lucky I am. But Lynn says she survived and Tanya will too. I am so thrilled for her. I really am. I, yeah, I just give her all the blessings under the sun. to meet the love of your life in your 40s and have him be totally beautiful and an old soul. Um, and then for now this to happen, I've got such a great circle around me that are going, you really are our hope. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at I am the luckiest girl in the world. And here I am with twins. Tanya and Chris's babies are due in September. You can follow their journey into parenthood on social media. The links are on our website.